Shaman. What's, what's, what's going on, YouTube? Washington. This is what, 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 What's going on, YouTube? This is your boy, Jamar, and you're here once again, and I am here to review episode five of Bad Girls All-Star Battle. Sometimes you gotta play dirty. Baby, this episode gave me all sorts of life everlasting, and I was here for every minute of it, and I was just... I... Whew! And I'm gonna... Ooh, I'm gonna read some bitches in this episode. Sorry if I'm looking over here at my notes, but bitch, somebody is about to get it in this fucking review. But let's go ahead and talk about it. They um they initially start off by, by uh, Elise talking about how she's being safe and they're trying to figure out what the fuck, how are they going to get through this? Because last week, I was like, oh, hell, the red team done fucked up now because whoever they nominated, you know they're going to try to get Elise out every time they lose and whoever they're going to put up against Elise is going to be uh, eliminated because the gold team has an alliance with Elise. So I was like, y'all in a fucked up position now. So uh, they're talking about that and then we go over to the gold team and the gold team is focusing on the fact that Nancy and uh, Camila are are bumping pussies as of lately. And you'll see them outside talking and shit. Nancy walking around topless. And why Nancy always trying to fuck somebody? Like, Nancy just needs some love. Her old baby just need love and just don't know what to do without it. And since Stephanie got eliminated, she's like, I need to find a new coos to scissor with. But, you know, it is what it is. So everybody's talking about how they fucking and how they fucking... Megan feels a way about it because she's like, well, bitch, we had an alliance first. What's, what's what's really going on? So, you know, everybody has is against, you know, what they're talking about. They think that a Camila is using this strategy. And more than likely she is because I don't see Camila really taking Nancy seriously. <laughs> she's just like, oh, if you're going to be here, if you're going to be an extra alliance that I can have so that I don't have uh, one less of a chance getting uh, put up for elimination, I'm going to hold on to your ass. So we get to this captain's challenge. And the challenge is to hold on to this man's hanging up above the goddamn harbor again that they fell in through the first challenge. They have to hang on to this, uh, these, these dudes. Hey, they were half and half. Half were cute, half weren't, but you know, it is what it is. So, they're hanging on, and the gold team goes first. First one down is Megan. I'm like, well... <laughs> well, actually, they, they fell in this order. I'm about to look up here at my notes. First... Megan fell, then Nancy fell, then Alicia Fatass fell, Valentina fell, and then we get down to Camila and uh, Janelle. Camila trying to do a last ditch effort and shit, trying to get, uh, what's the bitch name? Janelle to let go of this shit. She's like, I got you. I'm going to trust you. Janelle, I was, I was with you, bitch, because I wouldn't trust that bitch as far as I could throw her. Ain't nobody got time for that. So Janelle held the fuck on, and she ended up winning the damn challenge. So Janelle is now gold team king. Gold team team captain so now we get to the red team i'm just like <laughs> every time because i know i'm team red fuck the gold team <laughs> in my opinion i may not fuck with every single person on team excuse me every single person on team red right now but fuck the gold team i just don't i just mm -mm, i just don't vibe with them so first one down is shelly well y'all know shelly's allergic to penis so you know that is what it is second one down is tiana same thing. And, <laughs> and then Sarah falls. So I'm like, oh, shit. It's up to Rocky and Elise. Whatever you do, Rocky, hold the fuck on. Her leg was sticking out, cramping up. I was like, bitch, whatever the fuck you do, you better stick that leg out. You better attach your puss to his pinga and make it do what it do, bitch. But the bitch slipped, and I was just like, fuck. <laughs> Rocky, damn it, girl. So, Alicia's banshee ass, is, uh, not, not Alicia, Elise, old girl, her ass is team captain and I was over it, but it is what it is. So now the red team is in trouble. Because <laughs> now, if they lose, okay, if it was me, I would want, the, if I had to pick a member, if I couldn't pick Elise to go home, I'd have to pick Tiana. Just because I don't too much fuck with her. And really, Tiana hasn't done too much for the red team when you think about it but you know that's just been me so alicia talking about she wanted she's talking about for the team challenge she want to kick ass let's just refer back to 
the last episode of Bad Girls Club season ten and move on. Uh, so the t- the uh, what you call it, the team challenge is basically flag football in the mud and shit. So they first start playing, they start just throwing the ball and shit and just trying to catch it, whoever can get it and run. They're like, bitch, no, you have to catch the shit. So none none of these bitches really know anything too much about football. Neither do neither really do I. Why can't I talk today? Neither really do I, but I know enough that when you throw the shit, you have to catch the shit. That much I do know. So, <laughs> so um, Valentina will score a touchdown. Nancy scored a touchdown. And surprise, surprise, Elise was actually putting forth effort into the challenges. Who knew? Right? So, let's see. This, oh, this is the part where I'm about to read. What the fuck? Okay, so... During the football game, Sarah falls down, okay, and gets hurt momentarily, all right? So she's, ooh, ah, doing, you know, the Peter Griffin, ah, y'all know what I'm talking about. Don't act like I don't watch Family Guy, because I know you do. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So she gets down, and then why the fuck, I was confused, why is Megan in the damn confessional talking about, oh, of course, it's Sarah. She's sitting over there complaining and ooh, and uh, making all these noises and shit. Bitch, just seven days ago, your ass was putting on a motherfucking show and production on that ass from the damn sand uh, tug of war bullshit. And you had a fucking ambulance. And you gonna sit here and look at Sarah when she was just down for like, what looked like five minutes. But you gonna say the same shit about her when you was just getting fucked up last week? Megan, bye, girl. I I still love you, but bitch, you tried it. (laughs) I was like, what the fuck? Are you serious? Did you think we forgot that quick? Bitch, please. But anyways, my bitch Rocky was slaying hoes and taking names. <laughs> she was running, catching, stiff arming bitches, and I was here for every moment. I was in my living room getting my life. I was in here just cheering, screaming, doing all this stuff. Oh, this is the rerun, child. Uh, so the gold team tries to switch strategies and make uh, Alicia like the, what is it, the center, whatever the hell the position's called. Y'all know, I don't know. But uh, apparently Alicia's looking around like she don't know what the fuck she's doing. And Janelle's like, bitch, why are you looking to your left or your right? The person you're going to pass to behind you, bitch. So <laughs> all in all, Rocky goes down, but she manages to st- uh, muster up enough strength to finish out the challenge. And she wins it for the red team. And I went off. Okay, I was getting all of my life, and I was just so happy. I was like, thank God. Oh, I was about to say, especially with Elisa's team captain, I was scared. I was scared for my red team. I was scared. So, red team goes out to the club, and they, the gold team is going around who's going to be nominated. Nancy flip-flopping to talk about how she was with Megan, and now I think she wants to, uh, I think, was she the one that tried to nominate? Yeah, she was the one that uh, tried to get Megan and Alicia to go out for uh, elimination. I forget what her reasoning was. It didn't really make sense. I couldn't remember. I was just like, girl, Nancy really does flip-flop. Like, she flip-flopped on Amy. She's flip-flopping on Megan. Like, this bitch is just going to be for whoever she wants to be at that moment. She's not really going to have any type of loyalty. So, I hope that the gold team takes notice of that shit. Um, And so, it's pretty much a tie between... It's a unanimous that Alicia's going up. But it's a tie between Megan going up and Camila going up. And Janelle has to uh, break the tie. So when Ray J comes, she she says, you know, of course Alicia's going up. Then he asks the next girl. Now, here's the thing. Y'all know that Megan and, Jan- and, Megan and Janelle are, are like best friends. They, Megan was just tweeting about how her and uh, Janelle were going to be down here in Dallas. Or over, in, not here in Houston, but over in the other city of Dallas for an event. So, you know, they're like best friends. I was like, Camila, you're fucked. <laughs> I was like, Camila, you're fucked. I mean, Janelle may have said to you once upon a time she wouldn't put you up, but girl, up against Megan, you have no chance. So, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> so, <clears throat> the red team comes back and it's Camila and uh, Alicia up for elimination. And they're going off, they're going off. And honestly, it's really not that easy of a decision, to be completely honest. Because you keep Camila... Get rid of Alicia, which means the red team has a more chance of winning team challenges now that that big bitch isn't there anymore. Or you keep Alicia and get rid of Camila and probably and potentially disband 
that gold team unity because I feel like Camila's the head of that shit. So it's kind of tip for tap. Really, either one could benefit. It just depends on which one, which benefit they think is better. So Alicia's going around to the red team like they usually do. Talking about some, oh, you know, I was just talking and, you know, I don't want to beg for y'all to, you know, vote for me. That's not who I am. But then, bitch, if you're not trying to beg and get votes, why the fuck are you walking? Uh, why the fuck are you hanging around them? Like, uh, uh, I think it was Elise that pointed that out. Like, bitch, you didn't talk to Nam, bitch, on the red team. So now that you're about to be up for elimination, now you want to come and be buddy buddy with bitches? I think not. I call bullshit. I think not. So um, they get to the elimination round. And so they ask, you know, the bad girls to say their piece about you know, why they should stay and blah, blah, blah. Alicia goes on this rant talking about some, why the fuck are we doing this? There should be other, bar other girls up here. We're the heart of the team and shit. Which she's not necessarily lying. Because, like I said, Camila, I feel like, is the head of this. And Alicia is the muscle. I would say that <clears throat> Megan and Janelle are second in command. As far as, you know, being the next, be next best players on the team. So she really didn't lie, but she was just going off. She was like, bitch, why am I up here? You shouldn't have eliminated me and all these other bitches and blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> and then Camila starts calling bitches fake and she steps to Megan. And it looked like they was about to fight. And I was like, oh, shit. Now, y'all know we've seen both of them bitches fuck bitches up. Megan fucked up Amy. Fucked up Elise. On her season, and we both, I mean, Camila fucked up Amy and fucked up Elise on that reunion. And then we both saw what Megan can do. She fucked up two bitches at once. So if these bitches got into it, I just, <laughs> I just feel like, bitch, duck under the nearest mechanism of protection and cover yourself. Save yourself, bitch, because I just don't know what's going to happen. So I was about to be, I was about to get real excited, but they, you know, pulled him apart. Valentina was like, oh no, we don't need him to fight, blah, blah, blah. Bitch, bye. But you know, it is what it is. So they get to the vote and whatnot. And I just wanted to point out that Tiana said a statement that I want to point out. She's voted, uh, she voted Camila to go home because she feels like she would be in her way of $100,000. And I'm just thinking to myself, you don't think Alicia's big big wall looking ass is not going to be in your way? Like, if anybody is going to physically be in your way, it's this bitch. But, you know, I digress. If it were me, who would I send home? As a red team member? <sighs> Honestly? Yeah, I think I probably would have sent Alicia home, too, just because she helped with the team challenges but i'm hearing r rumors that uh next week the chat the teams are done there's no more teams and it's every bitch for themselves at this from this point forward so i'm like oh, <laughs> oh shit. I'm, I'm, I'm excited this this is a really an awesome season thus far and this is the thing when they before they you know how they always build up anticipation and they're trying to show you know next week's episode of bad girls all-star Oxygen fucked up, and I want to know if I'm the only one that caught this shit. When they were showing the preview of the next episode, and they hadn't showed the elimination yet, why the fuck did they put like a split second of showing Camila in the in the damn confessional talking about the next challenge? Bitch, clearly that means that this bitch is gonna still be in the next episode. Like, come on, Oxygen, y'all editing, and they didn't do it for long. It was like a quick second, but I was like, well. There goes my answer. I was thinking maybe Camila just might get eliminated by my, right about now, but it is what it is. So Alicia's eliminated. I don't give a fuck because I didn't fucking like her in the beginning. Even when she came back and I gave bitches a clean slate. Like I like Shelly now, but I came back and bitches still want to fuck up. Fuck Alicia. <laughs> and you know, so there it is. So I'm excited to see what the rest of this season is about to be about. Uh, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to the video. Make sure you check out um, Mona Simone and the Ghetto Views uh, Bad Girls Club reviews as well. And tomorrow, I have a very special video for you guys, and I cannot wait till you see it. <laughs> but make sure you guys stay tuned for tomorrow's video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Like, share, subscribe. Jamar. Washington. Washington. Washington.